But that's the question everybody's been asking. Is the Flash going to be good? And the Flash is out, everybody. The numbers are there. And did it do well? Well, not so much. And I feel bad for everybody, Muschietti especially, coming forward and like directing this. And like, if you watch the movie, I think the direction is amazing in this. And we talked about a little bit on Friday. We're doing a huge open spoiler on Wednesday. But I think Muschietti did a great job. Ezra Miller, I think, was great. They did a great job. But it only made $55 million domestically, $75 overseas, a total of $139 million opening weekend. Now you're like, well, that seems like a lot of money. Well, everybody's saying that Black Adam was dead, like horribly. Well, Black Adam made $393 million opening weekend. So what's that tell you? Quantumania. Everyone's like, Quantumania wasn't that good. That made $225 million. Still better than this opening weekend. And, you know, it beat it beat Elemental. Elemental only made $29.5 million over the weekend. But still, for a big budget movie, $200 million, $100 million marketing. It could have been even a little bit more because of reshoots, you know. It's not a big hit. But then again... It could change. This is only opening weekend. Everyone always says it's done. It's over with. You can't make any more money. But like Ant-Man, the very first one, that had a very, very weak opening and had a huge run overall. Aquaman was the same way. Word of mouth sometimes spreads, but there's a lot of bad word of mouth about this too. So I don't really know what's going to happen. I personally enjoyed it. And I think that people should see it. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Sabrina, I know you saw it too. What do you think about these numbers? Does this surprise you? Um... I'm not really a, a like I, I'm not really a box office kind of gal like number wise like I don't I feel like you have to wait for the run of the film like maybe you know like this weekend was like I mean there's still a ton of people going to see across the spider verse and maybe people are like you know what I'll see this now because it's gonna leave theaters so, soon before I go see the flash or you know the Transformers is out still so like you know these action type movies I feel like there's uh still a lot of room for growth here it did have a very good opening night it had a better opening night than Black Adam uh Birds of Prey 9.7 um, million two like you know it had better numbers than all of those movies for for the soft open you know whatever which is just the opening night I guess uh is what they call it the only reason why I know yeah, that Thursday is previews we covered, this, we covered this the other day and so I, I had to do my research but normally like I mean I think you just have to wait I saw it we saw it on opening day I thought it was really good I think Muschietti did a great job. I think uh, Ezra Miller did a great job. Um, there, I think Ben Affleck did a great job. I think Michael Keaton did a great job. I, and, you know, even, I don't want to yeah. throw out the spoiler, but that guy did a great job too. Not going to tell you who it is. Uh, Gal Gadot did a <laughs> like it was, it was just, it was a lot of fun. And he, Ezra Miller played two characters. They did a great job. They did a great job doing that. And I, I think that um, there's a lot of scrutiny behind the film because of, you know, the, controversial things going on with uh Ezra Miller I I think that they are doing the work that they need to do to get their life back on track and I hope that that is successful and I hope that this movie ultimately is successful because it is really fun and I, I really think it does a good job we'll see only time will tell what do you think Paul you saw it what do you think about this are you uh you think these numbers make sense to reflect what you thought or do you think that it should have made more money I think it's a a huge indicator that Unfortunately, the DC universe needs a reboot really bad. And it doesn't have anything. I don't think it has anything to do with the movie itself, honestly. I think the movie was great. I, and, and there were a lot of people that didn't enjoy it. I personally did. I thought it was great. I saw it twice. And uh, I, nice. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, I can see where some people would say, I don't want to see this film because of my feelings towards the star of the film and the things that he's done outside of the film. Uh, and I respect that. But uh, when it comes to the DC universe in general, the numbers have been decreasing for each film, it seems. Uh, you know, it, I saw Black Adam's numbers were dismal. I, I think I think it just goes back to this whole universe being just not working for the general audience. And I think once James Gunn gets in there in 2025 and releases Superman Legacy, we're going to see if it works and if it was worth it. But I, I think they should do something like a reboot of this entire universe. And it's unfortunate because a lot of people worked on this movie for like what, 10 years. And so it, it's just been, it's been, it, it started around the same time that the t flash TV series started Yeah, yeah. and the flash <laughs> TV series just ended. So it's just really, it really sucks. After and nine I, seasons, by the way, they got nine in. Yeah. Nine seasons. It's nine insane. Seasons. And, but I, I thoroughly enjoyed the film and I was hoping that people would turn out and it's just, it's really disappointing, but I guess it's indicative, it, it, an indicator for this entire, you know, 
process being, you never know what a film's going to turn out to be. You never know if it's going to be a hit or not. You really just don't. You don't. You don't know what people are going get to get to those seats and go watch it. You have no idea until after opening weekend. There's projections and all that. Like I said, projections were wrong. That just happens. You know, it's like you can only Shazam, imagine Shazam these numbers. Did terrible, dude. Like terrible. Yeah. And like as soon as it went on to streaming, it was the number one movie on Matt. What was on? Was it on Max? Max, yeah. yeah. It, was a, it was a number one movie for like three weeks or something ridiculous. Like so. You know, maybe people just don't want to go pay the money. I mean, I don't know. I hate that, like, you measure the, the success of a film itself by the numbers because I, I get it. But at the same time, there are so many movies that didn't do great that are great movies. Great movies. Like, really, yeah. really, really good movies. Way better than something that made a bazillion dollars, like, just because. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. Yeah. It's kind of annoying to me. Especially with these superhero movies, movies like people are mad at uh, Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantum Mania because it's a Marvel movie and it should have this Marvel opening and it should be like you know the Secret Wars or the whatever the, not Secret Wars I'm sorry uh, Civil War or you know what I mean like any any of these movies that were like huge um, they expect that from that because it's a Marvel movie now this is DC albeit like they don't expect those kind of numbers from a DC movie but. At the same time, I think there's a lot of pressure on it because of, first of all, the whole Snyderverse situation um, and and how that all went with the Justice League, and then also because of you know the issues surrounding Ezra Miller. I I honestly don't think it could have been better though. I, I think it was really people are getting down on it because of the CG and like one scene. It's like get over yourself, like calm it down. Like, I mean that's absurd in my <laughs> personal down. opinion. I uh, people I, are gonna hate. I have to agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. People are going to hate, though. They look Thank for reasons you. to hate it. You know, that's, you know, they look Haters for reasons. Don't. That's what it is. Haters <laughs> gonna hate. And, and again, you know, I think also a big thing is, too, like Paul was saying, it's like this is the end of rebooting this as it is. So probably some people are just like, what's the point of going to see this anyway? So there's that. There's the controversy. I mean, there's a lot of reasons why people did not come and see this, unfortunately. Thank you, GR. Good uh, example. Grant with the Grant the window. back Grant to the it. dawn of time. <laughs> it tank gone the window. It tank when it opened. Yeah, you know. I didn't it know that. It happens in a movie. There you go. Wow. It happens all the time. Like movies will tank, and then sometimes they'll be great, and then movies will do great, and then all of a sudden they won't sell. I mean, it's a whole thing. You just don't know. It's again us throwing figures at a at a wall and trying to figure it out and hoping it'll be right. And of course, they wanted to make money. Tom Cruise wanted to make money, but it did not make <laughs> what Tom Cruise wanted it to. I mean, yeah, like Mad least. Max, Mad Max, the the one that they did with Charlie Theron and Tom Hardy, um, underperformed. But it won six Oscars. You know what I mean? Like it it Fury, was Fury Road is one of the best action films ever made. So I'll good. die on that hill. Under underperformed so at the good. box office. Hardcore underperformed no. at the box office. But it won a bunch of Oscars. It was critically acclaimed. Like there there was so many great things about it that now they're making another one. Well, a prequel. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like prequel. Yeah. it's the, things like this happen all the time. I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying that the flash is obviously. Fury Road. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm saying it's, not, it's the, definitely the, not the measuring a film's success and capability and brilliance is not always uh, compatible with the numbers on, on an opening weekend or on the run of of of, in, of what it is in the movie theater. You know, there's a great so example that, to look at. Yeah, a, a great example for me personally, and I know a lot of people that enjoyed this movie that was a dismal box office run was John Carter, which was promoted oh, yeah. terribly by Disney. But I love that movie. I had a blast, but it it just didn't make any money. And you it, know, these things happen. It did not. Whether I you like that, that like, movie or not. <laughs> I, I right. I think that was like the last one I saw at the free SAG theater before they took that away. There was a theater oh. in North Hollywood where you can go for free if you were a oh, SAG yeah, member. Dude, that was and that best. was <laughs> Yeah, they had it for years, and that was the very last what? movie I saw. So they stopped it all they stopped it a while ago, but it was great. You show them your SAG card, free ticket. It was awesome. Oh, I know? hope they yep. bring that back. My God. It would be I, used to, oh, I used to go all the time. Oh. All the time. I don't know if they'll bring yeah. that back.